As we head into the summer, one of the chief concerns of any garden is water. Now, one of the best ways to get water to your garden that's clean and without chemicals is through a rain barrel. And I have uh, Ron Cowgill here. Ron is my buddy. Yes, sir. He has a show, Mighty House, on uh, WCPT Radio in Chicago on yes. Saturdays at uh, 8 a.m. Uh, and he's agreed to come out here and help us put our rain system together for the uh, Green on the Clean Garden. Uh, so we've got the barrels, and um, one of the things we should point out is that this is a way to do it without spending an arm and a leg, uh, because uh, as you can see, all, the barrels are all different. They're all different uh, sizes, a little bit different shapes and colors. That's because some of them were donated, some of them came through grants, uh, but uh, we managed to get them all together and they will all hold water and they can all supply water to the garden. So you've got a diverter here and that comes off the downspout. How does that work? Correct. The water comes down the downspout, it hits this, and then inside there's actual fingers and then you can see inside a filter. So now all the debris will come out, filtering the water. So now you only have this clean water going down. So the debris hits these fingers and yes. then bounces off and, and then the screen filters even more. Correct. Okay, and then the water comes through here. So you have, now you have nice clean water coming out the bottom. Okay. And then after, after we filtered the water, then we've got a diverter. So that, that way this can come down, we can, once the barrels are full, we can turn this over and it'll actually just go out on the yard but when we want it, we can turn it this way, and then we've, we're gonna divert the water into our barrel. All right. So, at, you know, this, you've got, I think we've got 250 gallons of storage here. Yeah, so, because uh, 55 gallon drums, uh, and one of the things that you did was put them up on cinder blocks. Yes, we did that also, donated, <laughs> yeah, by the that's, way. That's right. So, <laughs> you know, I think we've spent a total of $25 on this whole with the exception setup. of the rain barrels, but even but with those, the grants, we, we got a grant, right? So, out of pocket, we've spent right, and some and some of what was out of pocket are, are things like this. What, what have you got here? The, these, well, we we scrounged up an old hose, garden hose. Yeah. So we're gonna take a, take these, cut the garden hose up, and then we're gonna interconnect with these female connectors. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna cut the hose and then put these female connectors on there. That way we can link each barrel together. And that's what we've done right here. You can see that it comes out of the spout down here. And when this, as the barrels fill up, they will all be connected and rise up at the same way. A, a, a friend of mine told me, uh, who works in, uh, with rain barrels a lot, said, when you have a rain barrel like this, and, and there are spouts here, overflow spouts on the side here, if you connect it to the next rain barrel up top, then you've got five storage containers. If you connect it at the bottom, you've got one. One large. One large container, because all the water rises up at the same level at the same time. So what, by connecting them together, this is a Y in here, so those will go in between each one, so water will always flow to the next one. We've got valves on each one, so we can turn off an individual barrel if we want. Mm -hmm. But we can also then interconnect them all, and these, this, by putting these Ys on there, you will now interconnect and make those five barrels one. And if these barrels are all full, they weigh a lot. It's just <laughs> a lot of weight. So if you're thinking of putting it on some kind of platform, you better know what you're doing in terms of constructing one. The amount of weight. That's why we've got them sitting on the cinder blocks yeah. and stacked up that way. And obviously the higher you get, the more water pressure you're going to get. So that's why we want them up about two feet and that'll give us enough good water pressure to push through the hose and be able to run a sprayer and it looks like it, it, it's going to work and, and it's, you know, and it's a cheap way to get water because it's off the roof and not from the city. Correct. So thank you, Ron Cowgill, for uh, helping us it. out with this. Nope, thank you. And now we're going to go to our own tomato, Jennifer Brennan, who's going to show us how to grow tomatoes for the summer. Hi, I'm Chef Jorge De La Torre of Johnson Wales University. Today I'm going to show you what to do with those mushrooms that you can find in a farmer's market with a dish called sautéed mushroom salsa. Thank you. 